Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a blended layer bone a bone layer that will allow you to use your basic blend space for running, walking, moving, jumping, etc. Uh, but then if you want to overlay the upper body with say a pistol, say a minigun, say a rifle that I don't have in the right spot. If you want to be able to do any of those things uh, here's how I have finally decided that I like to do this. Um, initially I was using all blend spaces with a different blend space for each state but you know what that's cumbersome you have to create a different blend space for every every state when for the most part the, the body the lower body moving around is just fine I, I can add an upper body and the lower body still looks fine I can add an upper body and the lower body still looks fine right so for, for, for me, for my case, that's great. That's all, that's good. That, uh, that's all I need. And it's uh, adding a, a great de degree of simplicity. A did it, but deep, but deep, but deep. Anyway, so you're going to start out with your basic movement state machine, right? With your idle, run, walk. Your uh, And actually, what I've actually done here is I've put the jump state in air and jump on end. You could ignore taking damage. Crouch and crawl I also have in there, although crawl's not implemented. I have basically this. Uh, and my inside my idle run walk, I have my my uh, movement blend space and inside my move it blend space. It's your standard movement blend space. If you don't know how to do one of these yet, there will be other tutorial videos uh, all over YouTube for basically how to do the, these. The, the point of this video is not how to do a blend space. The point of this video is how to take your basic movement blend space, but then layer on uh, states for equipping different guns and that sort of thing. And how to do that in a way which is like just really easy. Uh, really easy to uh, add to or modify or whatever from your animation blend space. So like I say, before before what I did, before what I had here, here's my old graph, before what I was doing is I was, uh, I had a separate uh, 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 a separate state for uh, my rifle, for my minigun, for my pistol. Each one of them had their own uh, individual uh, blend space which I was then using a layered blend by bone to basically overlay the and that's you know it worked well enough but the the problem is all of the switching around and the back and forth and the states in between I was becoming quite the spider web right so that's uh, that's uh, where I happened across a different way of doing that doing this and then I just sort of thought oh I didn't know you could do that that's actually going to be much better so I've been monkeying around with it for the last hour or two here and I finally come up with something which I think is really nice so number one uh, in case any of you don't know how to create um, uh, make your player aim up and down based on movement uh, what you need to do uh, you know what let's say save that for another video we can do a whole separate video on that we got recoil we've got basically the aim up and down which is basically when the character is like this right and the, the gun follows the rotation or your your whatever uh, basically in a nutshell that is this part here and that has to come after all of this stuff because we want that to layer on top of whatever we have in terms of equipping weapons and items and stuff like that so that has to come after the recoil gun that I have here also has to come after so order of operations is important so um, and yeah and for those of you who are curious in a nutshell all you need to do is get the uh, rotation of your uh, of your characters um, well let's see here if I head back to my character biped get my control rotate uh, sorry not my control not my character biped if I head back to my event graph I'm basically just getting the control rotation based on the character here we go Gaze based on the uh, and again, this is my. I'm using general replication movement component, so it's going to be similar with Unreal Engine's uh, normal movement system. I don't want to get too far off track, but basically, you just want to get the uh, the um, you know the camera orientation or the controller orientation, and you want to use whatever the player is mousing around with. You want to use that, and then you just feed that into your transform bone, uh, which is spine one spine two spine three and then you just feed in the rotator to look up or down local to component blah 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 i'll do a video on that if i get some comments on this how to do that uh rotating around i'll do a video about that separately but i don't want to get too off course um <clears throat> so here's how here's how we roll and this is this is the magic node right here blend poses by int so basically what this does is it will look at what uh, integer what number you have plugged in to the active child index uh, and and um, so this uh, active child index, for example, if it's 
0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, it will try to blend, in this case, the rifle animation or the minigun or the uh, pistol or the jump state or whatever, whatever you want to plug in there. So this is sort of where the magic happens, right? So what I've done here is I first put in my movement blend space, which we looked at, sorry, which we looked at just a moment ago. Uh, darn it. Okay, which we looked at just a moment ago, and that's my base base level zero pose. That's the kind of my, my idle run walk. Uh, I also have my movement space over here, uh, and that has to do with basically the interaction with like the jumping and mechanics and stuff like that. It uh, there it, they they seem to it seemed to require both to make work. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. It seemed to require both uh, my movement blend space to be in pose zero, and uh, it also seemed to require my movement blend space to be over here in my idle run. Now I might be able to configure this better, but basically this is what helped with the jumping state in air jump on and jump start, and basically blending this all together with also if the character's holding a gun or not and all that sort of stuff, right? So if he's holding a gun, we want him to, you know, hold the gun. If he's not holding a gun, we want him to play the normal jump animation. And when uh, when I didn't have it all plugged together, he would jump, but his arms would keep moving as though if he were running. So there was just some weird blending that was going on. And this might not be the most uh, refined way of doing this, but I think it's simple enough and it works. It seems to work. So I've got my movement blend space here plugged into pose zero. That's my base pose. Uh, and what we have over here is uh, in my <clears throat> um, event graph. Where, is this my event graph? Yes, is this my? There we go. In my event graph, and this is the main bit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast to my character blueprint, and I'm going to get which gun he's holding. Now my guns are basically called plasma rifle, minigun, or pistol. And so what I'm doing here is I'm setting stance to one, two, three, or zero. Zero is the default idle pose. That's basically the normal run walk state. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, basically um, I'm setting in uh, setting in the uh, which which gun that is being used, and then switch on name. So if the name matches plasma rifle or minigun or pistol, then it'll set stance one, two, three or zero, which is idle, and then based on that I'm using my blend, blend poses by int to be idle, one, two, three, uh, or four, which is actually my jump state. Uh, basically my jump in air when not holding gun. So it's a, it's a bit of a monkey around to get all the things working in the right way at the right time, but uh, basically movement goes into your layered blend per bone with a blend weight of one. I'm using spine O2 as my upper body blend uh, so blending that upper body with like the gun being held or, or whatever, right? Um, in poses by int, there's nothing special other than you need to add a few additional uh, blend pins. So you just right click and add blend pin until you have as many as you want. You want to plug your uh, active child index. In this case, mine's called stance, which I got over here from the, uh, uh, basically depending on which, um, which gun is being held or if none gun is being held. Stance 1, stance 2, stance 3, stance 0. So basically I'm just typing in the number and matching up the number with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So now it's, if, if the stance is 1, it will blend the rifle. If the stance is 2, it'll blend the machine, uh, the minigun, etc. If there's no stance plugged in, if stance is 0 or empty, it will plug in the, uh, the basic movement blend space. Um, which is pose zero over here, and if the uh, player is uh, currently airborne or has has jumped, uh, I'm going to go into blend space four. Uh, this is this works. Uh, this is this was put in basically to make it so the character's arms didn't move, didn't run, whilst they were uh, whilst he was airborne and in an idle state, uh, not in a, a weapon holding state. When he was holding a weapon. That was okay not to have this because he would still be holding the weapon. But this is basically to tell the player um, that I want the upper body to play the jump animation when he's jumping, if he's idle. If he's holding a gun, then keep holding the gun. But if he's idle, don't just keep moving the arms like they were running. Instead, uh, move them as though if they were playing the jump animation. So that's just a little bit of a hack, a little hack, hacky hack. Um, 
And then basically I'm saying all of that jump stuff over here. Basically I'm saying if character has jumped or if character is airborne uh, and if the stance is zero, the idle stance, right? So all of those things. If those things are all true, then set stance four, of course, right? So stance four is the jump stance, which I just mentioned. Uh, has landed doesn't seem to be required because when he's jumping then it does seem like the uh, the state base movement state takes over and this starts to play don't exactly know why but it does seem to work that way uh, the logic I'm a little bit confused on so I apologize if this video is confusing I'm hoping to like I'd like I do some of my videos I need to make references for myself in the future so I can check back and see how I did a thing when I forget um, so this is part uh, tutorial and part reminder to future me how the heck I did that thing that time you know <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah basically that's it uh, so you've got your basic movement uh, state machine. Uh, you've got your layered blend per bone uh, and you've got your your base spine 01 or 02 uh, to just move that upper body right uh, and then you're blending pose by int and you're plugging in which integer to blend which upper body pose with with which uh, uh, with the lower body pose which will be the the movement blend space because the layered blend per bone is only blending the upper body right so it's always going to be moving that lower body based on like the movement blend space or this in this case if setting to idle zero I don't actually even know if I, why I have this here do I need this I'm not 100 percent sure uh, it seems to be that base state if I took it out it seemed to yeah I don't know let me just take that out again yeah it seemed to not quite do everything right <laughs> I don't know. I kind of love it. I kind of feel like I should put in an arm flapping animation and see if he can fly. Um, anyway, that seemed to be required. I don't exactly understand why. Anyway, base pose blend zero. Uh, so yeah, anyway, plugging all those in into your layered blend per bone. Um, and then, of course, from there, you're just going straight into your, your output pose. Unless you also want to have recoil, unless you also want to have aiming states, then you want to put those on, you know, put those after this sort of base stuff. Um, I think that's about it. The only other thing is, of course, uh, in setting the uh, which gun is being used, right? So set gun. Now that is what is being done over here in my character blueprint, and that's really nothing to that. All I'm doing is saying uh, on input action set uh, gun to plasma rifle, set gun to mini gun, set gun to whatever, and I've got my gun variable here, and of course I'm just going to get that by casting to my character blueprint biped, and then getting the gun and then setting the gun in my animation blueprint as such. Like I say, taking damage and hand hand recoil don't apply to this particular. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it a lesson. Let's call it um, explainer video. <laughs> uh, oh, and I guess the last thing here. So basically, I'm running this sequence. So basically, this is just always going to be checking what my character is up to. It's just always going to be firing, right? Because this is based on uh, a blueprint uh, update event, a uh, blueprint update um, animation, basically all the time. It's just always firing. Uh, and uh, if you know, switch to gun, switch to plasma rifle, whatever. But the other other thing that it's going to check after that is uh, if is my current speed um, faster than 800, which basically in my uh, blend space means the character has now started sprinting, and I don't want them to uh, hold the rifle up when they're sprinting. I only want them to hold the rifle up when they're running or walking. Sprint is sort of in my game. It's meant so. I'm just going to limit uh, that. So basically, what I'm saying is uh, set stance to zero and maybe this is why the actually I don't even know why but I'm saying set stance to zero which is my idle run walk state uh, if the character is above uh, this speed so basically what this does is it just takes any gun out of their hand while they're sprinting or in other words uh, not it doesn't, it doesn't actually take the gun out of the hand what it does do is it uh, uh, re it removes the state of them holding up the gun. So you can see when I start sprinting, they don't hold up the gun anymore. The, it, it plays the full on sprinting animation, right? Uh, if they if they jump, I do actually want them to be able to use the gun again. So if they jump, the gun comes back. Uh, as they're flying through the air, they can jump and shoot. I think that's kind of fun, so I just kind of wanted it that way. Um, but that's basically it in a nutshell. So the nice thing about this is now I can take any uh, 
any single pose, for example, say I add a, a, a plasma rifle in, I can go ahead and I can get my, my, my plasma rifle animation, right? And I can just put in that single, fr single animation or a single frame of animation even, and that's all I need to do. I can just plug that in and that will become the new upper body state for that particular uh, weapon. And since each weapon uh, can, is possibly different, right? Depending on your game, Right, so plasma rifle looks like that, minigun is down like there, handgun is like that, so I want a different handheld state depending on which item is, is being held. Uh, depending on that, you can very easily now keep all of your basic animation uh, movement, jump, crouch, run, walk, even when you crouch you're, you're, you'll continue to aim your gun or you know whichever gun you have running if you jump. Uh, you'll come out of crouch and uh, it'll play the normal jump animation but you'll keep your gun. Basically it's just like uh, in, set up in this way it's going to be really easy to add new stuff to it. Uh, in, ter like in terms of uh, adding in new animational animation states uh, that uh, just go alongside with the existing animation state and really only require one animation to uh, solve. So that's what I wanted. I wanted a super flexible system and that's kind of what I think this has become. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you very much to my very first uh, oh, and currently only patron, uh, uh, Titan, uh, Titan Dragon, uh, sorry, Titan Dragon Gaming. Thank you, brother. I just had to make sure I, I got that right. Titan Dragon Game. I was like 99% sure that was right. Was it Titan Dragon? Dragon Titan? I, I couldn't remember. I wanted to get that right. Anyway, thank you, brother. I appreciate the support. Uh, and uh, for anybody else, uh, my Patreon link is now in the description of all of my YouTube videos. And uh, support is very appreciated. Helps me to keep making tutorial videos, etc., etc., and focus more entirely on what I love to do. That is the game dev. See you guys in the next video. All right.